Hey guys, and welcome back to another HZ Studios tutorial. Today, we're going over the very best settings for the program Handbrake. I just did a video outlining the basic functions and uses of Handbrake. I use this program for nearly every video that I produce here on HZ Studios, so I thought I'd go over my settings with you. Of course, you want to put in MP4, as MKV is really very, very seldom used only for, for uh, very special occasions. So of course you wanna go with the general MP4. Web Optimize, it, I can't seem to find the direct results of using web optimization, but I do notice a very small, very, very small change in the file size actually makes it somewhat smaller. So web optimization can help, but this is what you really wanna pay attention to. The video codecs and the quality, this RF quotient here. Your video codec, I choose H.264. It seems to work very well for me. I don't. I get perfect quality, the same quality as my video. I don't get any FPS loss, don't get any file size loss. Well, of course, it doesn't make the file size larger by using a different codec. So the H.264 seems to work pretty well with me. I've tried uh, the MPEG-4 and the H.265. The H.265, from what I see, does increase the file size a little bit along with MP. Uh, MPEG-4, but the default H.264 works plenty. The FPS, uh, the variable frame rate, the constant frame rate seems to lock your frame rate as it makes it constant, but what it does is that it can't lock your, vi if your video fluctuates from let's say 55 to 65 frames per second, if you lock it as a constant frame rate, it can't, the, the way videos work is that you can't adjust something to increase its FPS. It just doesn't work like that. So if you go for a constant frame rate and you have that variable frame rate that your video has, if you're from 55 to 60, it's gonna constant the video at 55 FPS because throughout the entire video, it knows that your video can go down to 55 FPS. But if you try to increase your FPS, like let's say I wanna do, if my video is 30 frames per second, but if I go to 60, then it's gonna make the video much lower quality as it tries and fiddles with the video to try and make it look that much faster. So I keep it same as source. Basically, you wanna keep your FPS as same as source and variable frame rate, just so you get that constant source of good FPS. And then finally, the most important part of the handbrake settings in the video tab is the quality. Now, as you can see, there's some placebo effect and lower quality. It's a little bit confusing, so I decide I really wanna focus on this. This 20 RF, this scale goes backwards. The left increases the RF, the right lowers the RF. The, the default, which I think is actually the perfect setting, is 20 RF. Essentially, if I were going to go all the way to the right to zero or one RF, that means that the quality will be the same or even better, but the file size is going to be much larger. And the whole purpose of Handbrake is to make your file size smaller while not getting rid of the quality. But if I went to all the way to let's say 45 RF, 25 more than the default setting, that would make the video lower quality, but it would make the video much less file size. It would make a, two, if I were to put a two gigabyte video into this and do it at 45, it would probably take about, it would maybe take about 50% to 60% off the file size, but if I went, but it would make the video look much lower quality. So I like to keep this around 20, go ahead and drag that over at 20. 20, I found 20 to even 18 can work, but 20 is the default setting. So you wanna keep it around there. And of course, web optimize and MP4, as I have said before. So if you guys like this tutorial on Handbrake, don't forget to hit the like button. If you wanna see more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Everybody gets high sometimes, you know. What else can we do when we're feeling low?